Welcome to Two Brains, One Bottle, the podcast that tries to answer life one drink at a time. I'm Josh. I'm Sean. And uh, this is part of the Room 6 uh, little channel. And if you're listening to this, you're probably a patron, so thank you. If you're not listening to this, well, then how'd you get here? Uh, hey, Sean. Yes. How, how's, uh, how's summer in Kansas City there, buddy? It's hot and it's wet. Nice. It's hot and dry here in uh, Las Vegas. And uh, yeah, it's, it sucks. Yep, it's not the greatest. Yeah. Summer is probably one of my least favorite seasons. But hey, as uh, as one as one uh, a cis straight white het- hetero man to another, Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. I'm trying to. There we go. That's fine. We we'll we'll deal with it. Anyway, you know what? I it over there. I, am... I, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't have a drink ready, so I couldn't. Oh, it's okay. Give me, give me just a second. I'll... I don't know. Oh, by the way, this is an audio podcast, but um, uh, listeners. We can see each other on video, so sometimes we'll reference things that you just can't see. Sorry. Um, I do a lot of video stuff on this channel, and it's nice to have just one straight audio thing. So use your imagination while you look at the dancing brains on the screen. Meanwhile, uh, I'm drinking a Canadian whiskey. I I can't remember the name because I don't have the bottle in front of me. I've had it since Christmas, and I just sip at it every so often. But I figured for Pride Month, I mean, what's better than Canada? Oh... If you insist, I don't. I don't know what that joke was supposed to be. I was just calling Canadians gay. That's all. Ah, okay. Well, that's that's incredibly two thousand and yes. late of you. Yes. Well, Sean knows I'm joking, and I hope the listeners know I'm joking yes. as well. Yes. Uh, and then it's a terrible joke, but you know, I was thinking actually, it must be horrible to have both your parents be gay. Because you either get twice the usual amount of dad jokes, or you get stuck into an infinite loop of "go ask your mom." Uh, that's that's very true. That's very true. That's my opening joke, sir. It's not bad. Thank it's you. uh, I'll give that a four out of ten. I've heard you do better. I expect more out of you because of it. Well, sorry, but pish posh applesauce from you, I hear. Pish posh. Yes, that's that's what I was gonna say. Pish posh applesauce. Sure. Yes. Give me just a hot second fill for me for a sec. Okay. Uh, while, while we wait for Sean, I do want to thank you for listening. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I really don't know how you're listening to this right now, but um, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I've got videos, interviews, live streams, all sorts of cool things all about um, mostly the local music scene in, in Vegas, but I also do things about whiskeys. I do things about music that is not strictly Vegas. I just instru- I just recently interviewed a band called Poe the Passenger out of L.A. A really good band. Uh, some young kids that are just doing all the right things. So uh, keep an eye out for that. What else? Uh, oh yeah. I hope you're having a happy and safe pride. Um, just experience. And uh, is he back? Yeah, he's back. He's, he's good. back. We're all good. Awesome. Everything's fine. Awesome sauce. Um, how... Now... now you live in Kansas City, Kansas, right? Not Kansas City, no. Missouri. No, you, no, sorry. I live in Overland Park, Kansas. Mm-hmm. Sorry, you live in Overland Park, yes. Uh, but you live in Kansas, not Missouri. Yes. Do you, to your knowledge, is there a difference in the whole mindset re- around pride between Missouri and Kansas? Or does are there little pockets just like there are out here? To the best of my knowledge, uh, different areas are better than others, different people are better than others, and uh, unfortunately I don't think I have the, the, um, the exposure to the scene to be able to comment on Mm. either which way. Fair. I mean, just uh, lately I've been just uh, around a lot of musicians that are in some way, shape, or form, you know, part of the Alphabet Mafia, as we like to call them. And um, it's it's interesting how musically, none of it matters. None of that stuff right. matters. You know, right. it, I mean, granted, your your stage persona, your maybe what you're wearing, your uh, your audience certainly might be be different or affected by it. Um, mm-hmm. But you know, it, it's like I don't. If you're you're a grown man wearing a dress and makeup, 
and 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 uh, you're you're rocking the crowd. I don't care what you you know what you wear. I, I'm just happy to be there to, to appreciate the music. So um, that actually I leads. The, to, oh, go ahead. I think the I think the stage really acts as uh, kind of a canvas um, for you to paint it with yourself. You I, you as an artist, you get to have some leniency with what you wear, where you wear it. Um, I think it's a little more freeing being an artist than it would be like working a, say a corporate nine to five job with a uniform and somewhere that more strictly enforces that you will adhere to some kind of archaic, uh, um, societal norm that has been imposed on us. Right. Whatever patriarchal lens deems it, you know, status quo, I say that's where musicians and artists get to upset the status quo and be ourselves is on stage when we're, when we're performing, when we're creating, when we're doing whatever it is that we have worked so hard to be able to express our voices through. Definitely. Um, and I mean, even at a lot of corporate uh, environments such like Starbucks or something, we're starting to see, you know, visible tattoos and piercings and, you know, uh, non, nor, non, non genetically, you know, possible hair colors. And, um, and certainly, uh, people that are all over the spectrum of, and I hate to use the word spectrum. I don't mean spectrum, but all over the, the rainbow, shall we say. Um, and it, that is exciting, but there's definitely still a lot of the, well, our customers are going to want to, you know, they want to know what to expect them, all that jazz. And, that's slowly, very slowly changing in a lot of places where I never thought it would change, strictly because your customers are the people on the rainbow, you know? Right, but also your your customers don't give a fuck. Yeah. If we're being if we're being 100% honest, the well, customer doesn't give a shit what they look like as long as they get their product, whatever it is they're paying for, in a reasonably timely manner. Unfortunately... And- People with overcomplicated Starbucks orders mm-hmm. deserve whatever time frame the drink gets to them. Here, if here. it takes you more than two and a half seconds to say your drink order, it it you deserve a seven minute wait. Yeah, well, I agree. Um, we if have, you're being we have, pushy, oh, we'll we'll if we're if you're being pushy, it'll be dropped on the floor and that'll be increased to eleven minutes because you need to learn. That's your version of the timeout corner as an adult, having to wait for a remade order. Like, you're being a prick. You need to chill. <laughs> All right. Uh, that actually is a, a nice lead into our question of the day. Uh, we do have a question for this episode from Diane, who asks, what are your feelings on pride and the party it has become? You know, pride used to be about... This, this is uh, That's the question, and now I'm answering my part. Uh, pride, of course stems from Stonewall riots and from, you know, um, things like the gay community dealing with AIDS and the lesbians who were trying to be supportive and, and, and holding their hands as they, you know, as they died and, and all, all those tragic, you know, uh, world changing, uh, view changing historical things that now, I mean, pride, I agree. There's every right to celebrate it. Just like, you know, we should, be, you know, America, we celebrate in, our independence from the Brit, the British 200, you know, over 200 years later, here we are still saying, ha ha. But at the same time, I feel like, especially in the, the recent climate, hell, the, the climate of the last 10 years, it's important that we not forget where all this came from. Um, and why it's a rainbow and, you know, what, what it means to be an LGBTQ plus IA person in, in America specifically, but also the world. Uh, so I personally feel like it's awesome that you can celebrate as long as you remember where it came from and that we don't let history repeat itself. That being said, I also agree with the idea that a lot, a lot of the alphabet mafia are introverts because of how they had to, you know, deal with growing up like that in, in wherever they grew up. And they're like, I don't want to go to a party. I don't want to go to a pride event at a bar. 
you know, I and, and and you know, I don't wear rainbows. I wear black, you know, or whatever. So that's my take on it. Um, how about you? Well, I think the purpose of the the partying in general is more of a like an all clear sign giving people of that volition uh, kind of a safe haven call. Okay. Like you don't have to, you don't have to come out and party with us, but it's us that are out here partying and we would like you to come join us. It feels uh, pride parades and the parties feel very inclusive to people of that demographic. Right. That, that being said, where I have an issue is, we only have 12 months. Right. It's, a, it's only enough room for 12 groups. <laughs> 12 themes. Whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever group or theme it is being celebrated for that month, we only got 12 of them. And I'm pretty sure there's more than 12 kinds of people to celebrate. I would hope that, you know... I understand the, the purpose of having the... of dedicating the month. Of dedicating a month to any group it's to it's to bring awareness it's to highlight it's to bring attention that being said the parties are pretty attention grabbing right and I would like us to get to a point where nobody has to get a month because we all feel included every day i agree um it in, in now this is again two white men saying this two yeah white, of course two white straight men that are in happy you know in relationships and and with with a female partner and yeah all my, that. my other thing is it's not my business and i should have no opinion regardless right and so um but uh, but from a very high level viewpoint I feel like there's a lot of similarities between pride and and being able to celebrate it like this um, and, and give that kind of, you know, hey, this is a safe space. Come on in. Let's have a good time. Mm -hmm. And and February when it's, you know, celebrating the black culture and and dealing with all the, you know, the slavery and, and all of that, um, it's... I think in the end, it's it's good. It's good that the, the pride has become a party. So, Diane, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> so we we did the best we could. <laughs> what do I think? I'm just trying to double back to what do we think about the party it's become? I think that I think that people in that are of that demographic have a lot of reasons to blow off steam, and we are. <clears throat> How do I put that? I don't think straight people have as much to get bent out of shape about as people in the LGBTQIA plus community. Mm -hmm. I, I think they deserve to party harder than we do. I and I don't like to use the they and we terms because it sounds like, to me, that comes across as ostracizing. Right. You're not, but, you're, you're not saying they and, and I'm not. I, they I'm and not, we as like, far as pronouns, you're saying. Yeah. No, I'm saying like conceptually they and we. I don't like the separation that that brings. Understood. But yeah, uh, but yeah I think that... Um, I think straight people need to stop <clears throat> fucking with, with parties that they're not invited to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like nobody wanted you to come, so shut the hell up. It, it's very clearly it's, says, it's not, it, this yeah, is it's not, not for you. Party. Yeah. Um, that's like going to a 420 party and being upset because people are smoking pot, you know? Yeah, it's like if you don't want smoke in your eyes, don't go to a fucking smoke sesh. It's pretty yeah. simple. That's pretty um, explanatory, yeah. And, and uh, I, I, one thing, though, I do notice, uh, going back to, like, you know, musical, uh, you know, music shows and, and how that, you know, is pretty much, nobody cares. It's, it, you know, it's how you are on stage. Um, of course, there's a lot, long history of, of gender bending and, and all that stuff, starting with, like, David Bowie and probably earlier than that. But I was at Ch uh, Chiba Hut, which is a, a local sandwich shop here that puts on live shows at uh, this one location. 
uh, in all of Nevada. And I've been to many shows there. They're always awesome. They're very supportive. They don't put up with crap. You know, like they're general. I've never had a you know, seem like a heckler, really, unless somebody was given what they got from from the stage. But I went to a Pride Day at Chiba Hut just uh, like a couple days ago, or a week ago, and it was fun. It was just a show. There, there was the, most of the rainbows were on printed things. You know, like like they were they were printed up for this event, but people weren't wearing. You know, it wasn't like everybody was wearing rainbow shirts or something. And out of the no. six out of the six acts that performed, I think maybe two were. Uh, you know, not just straight, because uh, you know, because I've, I, they, most of them had been on the channel, so I, I know a little bit about them and, and their personal life. So mm. I find it very interesting that at Pride Day, it wasn't like, eh, okay, <laughs> wait, you have to be one of these letters in <laughs> order to play. <laughs> right. But, but I, I feel like A for Ally is was represented. You know, there were certainly no hate there. Um, that is my biggest. You know what, Diane? I will say this. The feelings on Pride and the party has become my only problem with it is if you're doing that in an area where there's known hatred and hate hate crimes against you know your community, and you're saying, I don't care, I'm putting up this 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 siren call, bring it. You gotta be ready for what, what's gonna come. Um, can what can come? What no can need come. To sound, No need to sound more ominous than oh, we than uh, we're uh, intending uh, to. I, I know you but, don't know what's coming to you. Yeah, right. Like, geez, man. But also, I feel like parties like the you know the whole party thing and the whole it's a pride. It's a group. There's safety in numbers. You know, you're not going to have one or two jerks show up and right. not get thrown out, or even you know like a a, a gang or a group of them. It's not gonna lo go well for you, you know. <laughs> so, right, right on. Well, uh, I guess oh. the the bigger the bigger concern, and not to not to keep going into any of this because it's going to get very dark if we do. Mm. But I I bet the big concern right now is with all the gun violence that's been going on. That's got to be extremely disconcerting to anyone who's trying to host any kind of gathering that feels like a minority. Mm -hmm. You Definitely. know that has to be that has to be an ever present like. I, I can only imagine how that could be an ever-present thought. Definitely. So stay safe out there, but definitely celebrate your diversity. Mm -hmm. uh, um, speaking of things that are different, it turns out I got a weird science fact for you. You ready? Weird sinus fact. Go no, for it. No, no, no. Science. Oh, science fact. Okay, good. Well, I mean... Weird yeah. science. <laughs> are you ready? I don't think you're ready. All right. It turns out humans actually glow with our own form of bioluminescence. We just can't see it. Cats can. Uh, yes, they can. Um, but <laughs> it's... I just thought that was, like, we... It, the human body it looks literally... Like, it looks like tiger stripes. To, oh, you've seen it? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it, it literally is this weird... Depending on, of course, the spectrum you're you're seeing it in. Mm -hmm. it, it, otherwise, it just looks like you're, you know, you're in the movie Predator. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I just thought it was really cool. Like you forget, you hear about auras, or you know, you've got a glow. You must be pregnant or whatever. But we actually do glow. We just don't really see it most of the time. Right. So that's my weird science fact. Um, I was wondering, Sarah. What do you what'd you say you were drinking? This would be Kentucky Owl, the wise man, American Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey at forty five point four percent. That is that sounds good actually. Yeah, I uh and, and oh, lemonade. Ahead. Yeah. Lately a lot of my uh I've been doing a lot of interviews uh, on the channel with just individual people who are very young sometimes under 21 but uh, so i haven't really been like stocking up on the whiskey <laughs> i've been you know if, if i know they're over 21 i'll put out like my bowl of beers but and i'll put out like the the evan williams and this canadian whiskey but i'm not putting out the good stuff oh i lied 
I just realized I switched it up. I'm drinking Tullerberdine single malt scotch, uh, their artisan, uh, their artisan line. So he lied to me. He I, lied to all of you. No, my he'll brain never, just forgot. He'll he'll never tell you the truth on this podcast. Yeah, the do- rule number one: the doctor lies. Uh, rule, rule number one: you don't talk about this podcast. <laughs> please, please talk about. The, please share. Please talk about this <laughs> podcast. That was a joke. Everyone talk yes. about the podcast. Please, and thank how you. great it is. Please, um, yeah, and talk about the channel and. Yeah. So before we get into, you know what's coming. Before we get into it, how's uh, how's uh, the studio going? I stopped in today um, after work. I got some things cleaned up. I got my bookcases put together. I've got banners to hang. I've got equipment to move in. I've got sound baffling to finish. But it is trucking along now that I am making it a priority. It's been a that's good. it's been a crazy chaotic week for the last three weeks, and uh, it's probably going to be uh, an even crazier week this upcoming month. So, noise it's just it's, it's a lot of stuff that's going on, man. And sometimes the things you want to do and just have to fall by the wayside for the things you need to do. Right. Uh, I wanted to ask you a question regarding. Um, my YouTube videos, actually, and, and this goes out to the listeners, too. Uh, you know, hit me up in the comments, or hit us up in the comments. Let me let us know your take on this. So, you know, you're, you're done watching a YouTube video. There's the end screen. And some of them, like mine, will have some stuff on the screen, and they'll also have maybe a, a video or two, mm-hmm. a little little small version that you can click on and say, here's, here's the next video, or here's mm-hmm. what we suggest for you. Other channels might have... Like suddenly, the the video you're watching kind of minimizes into one corner or one side where they're and still it'll talking. And they'll have an auto play for a next one, right? Or or they'll have they'll have other stuff. Which do you prefer? Do you prefer when they keep talking while that other stuff's on the screen? Does it make you want to click? Or I kind of like the idea of me just fading out and then here's some here's the end screen. But uh, I was just wondering. It depends on which show I'm watching. Some shows I stick around to the last second. Some shows I dip out when they're doing the ending spiel because I already have liked, commented, subscribed, and shared and done all the shit they asked me to do at the beginning. I don't mm-hmm. need the uh, the bookmark at the end too. Right. Um, well, like like for me, of course, I always say you know uh, uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up there. If you want to yeah. subscribe, click down there, and then. After, when I'm do- all done with that, I'll fade out and fade in a screen. And yes? Dinner! Oh, apparently it's dinner time. All right, uh, I'm back from dinner. Sorry about that, everybody. But uh, dinner waits for no man in this house. So it was good. It was uh, baked salmon with a little bit of lime juice and some butter and uh, asparagus and uh, couscous, pearl couscous. It was, it was lovely. Yeah, right there, buddy. Yeah, I'm okay. Cough like that, you should take um, a smoking. Yeah. I was just listening to you uh, lament about how good your dinner was. Okay, good. It was delicioso, as usual. Uh, as usual, the more delicious the dinner, the longer it's going to take to clean up after. Well, you didn't have but to I'm make here dinner, with you. so you should have to clean up. They will happily leave the dishes for me. I uh, wish that's the way that's it the deal. House. Well, we've had a lot, of, a lot more years than you to, to dial this all in. I do the cooking, and then I get yelled at for not doing the dishes too. Yeah, well, this yeah, it's a it's a wonderful balance we have here. <laughs> the, Great division of labor. The secret is <laughs> so here's the truly secret. Truly democratic society. Here's the secret. You you just have to routinely mess up one of those things, and eventually, <laughs> it won't be your job. You see, as the problem is, I'm good at too many things. I'm kidding. Wow, I'm kidding. I'm terrible at I'm terrible wow. at everything. All right. Well, I'll just overcorrect that course. <laughs> overcorrect. I'm good at everything. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. I'm garbage. <laughs> Hi, nice to see you again. I'm still a piece of garbage. Uh, one of my favorite TikTok sounds. So, uh, hey, Sean. You know what time it is? I think it's time for weird news. It's time for weird news, weird news. I found some weirdness on the internet, and you're going to hear about it. It's weird news. I'm still working on that. Anyway, I don't have a little button to push for, you know, my, my little jingles or whatever. 
Uh, yeah, you don't. You do not have a sampling pad yet. I don't want one. Thank you very much. But I thought, in keeping with the theme of today's episode or this month's episode, this is the weirdest corporate pride tweets. Mm. These are tweets that have gone out from corporations. Mm. And you're just like, mm, that's not what you think it is. I'm I'm democratic socialist. Hit me with that capitalist garbage. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm I'm an alphabet enforcer for the alphabet mafia. Let's see what you know. What do you got? So number one comes from the United States Marine Corps. Oh boy, oh boy, Pic- leading off with a heavy hitter. Picture this, Sicily, 1912. Mm-hmm. You have a uh, it's a digital version of it, but you, you have a a uh, Marine helmet, you know, with the camo painted on it, and a little band around it that says, in, in written in, it looks like they, they did it in Microsoft Paint, like they wrote letters on, on this little band, it says, proud to serve, and stuck in the band are six bullets, each with a different, different color, color tip of the, of the rainbow. rainbow. Yeah. That's so, yeah. Um, awful. Yeah. So, first off, your relationship with the community is not exactly, let's say, great. Between don't ask, don't tell, bans on transgenders, uh, generalized victim or violence and, and, and discrimination of, of members, uh, of service members that are uh, LGBTQ+, it's just one of those, out of, it's, it's, like, it's like when your mom would be yelling at you and then the phone would ring and she'd answer and be like, hello? You'd be like, what, who is this woman? To give a little more context on the image you're talking about, it is straight out of the cover of Full Metal Jacket. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. The helmet has a band a band around it. Looks like it's made of some kind of canvas material on top of a digital, a green digital camo helmet. Right. Yeah, and those look like big-ass rifle rounds with... Uh, some fun armor piercing tips and each of those armor piercing tips alternate from red to orange to yellow to green to blue to purple that's uh that's pretty fucking disgusting of an image yeah hashtag pride month hashtag usmc and that's pretty disgusting that's pretty bad <sighs> marine corps that's fucking that's, this that's incredibly with all the shootings going on that's incredibly well no i mean this wasn't recent this was oh wait no it is online pride 2022 it's this it's this year, man. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's this year, my friend. I'm looking at what you're looking at. That is not good. Um, the the best part is I'm, this article I'm reading is from Cracked Magazine. You remember Cracked Magazine? Yes. Uh, see, kids, there used to be these paper things called Cracked Magazines. Uh, anyway, uh, the best part is right at the end of it, it says this is the social media equivalent of a high school bully posting a photo of them drunk at Pride. <laughs> and just wow. Shall you go into the next image? Are you looking at the same article? Yeah, of course I am. I'm, I'm faster than you are, Josh. What? I can, okay. I can find this. First of all. I can find anything on the internet. First of all. <laughs> well, listen here, you little shit. First of all, wrong. <coughs> Second of all. Uh, yeah, no, I'm moving on to Chipotle. Talk. Yeah, yeah. So they have a, I'm they disappointed have a, in this one. Pick, this is not good. Well, I mean, you're looking at the burrito, right? I'm looking at the whole article. I'm on yeah. the website of Crack. So, because yeah. yeah, so listeners, um, oh. imagine a, a Chipotle burrito. So it's wrapped in aluminum foil, and that burrito is is in rainbow colors on the aluminum foil. It's a pretty good graphics job. It's not bad. And right above it, it says "Homo estas." Uh, w- wow, just wow. And then not only that, they had a freaking social media kind of uh, campaign called "Which way do you sway?" tacos or burritos <laughs> and i'm here for the innuendo but that is wow <laughs> granted we will we will capitalize and say that this or asterisk uh add an asterisk and say that this is from 2017 not from 2022 that very good i was gonna say that this this particular image mm-hmm. um which is funny because the date on the what is supposed to be the original twitter tweet says 2015 the article states 2017. It's a nice little discrepancy there if you're looking for, mm-hmm. you know, factual stuff on the internet. Nice. 
Ah, uh, you're technically right, which is the best kind of right to be. It is the best kind of right. Mm. Technically right? Yeah. You mean factually right? I just... Yeah, it's my favorite. And again... It's my favorite kind of right. Again, the, the article... Let's see, who wrote this? This was uh, written by Eli Yudin. And um, he, he did a great job here summing it up with, this might as well be an ad from Dockers asking, are you light in the loafers? Um, so, yeah, my last one is the next one in the article, which is uh, the NSA one. And at NSA, talented individuals of all backgrounds contribute to something bigger than themselves, national security. Because when I think inclusion and um, not just reckless persecution, I definitely think of the government and NSA. Yeah, I think it's really cool that we turned the eye of Sauron rainbow. That's fucking awesome, man. I think it's great that we... I'm, looked at the biggest biggest governing body that peers into all of our most secretive parts of our lives and knows yeah. all of our deepest, darkest things that we try and keep, even from our own subconscious. And they're like, we like colors. Yeah, the ra- the building's rainbow. That's cool. Awesome. That that like, that undoes a lot of damage. That, it does fuck all. Yeah. And I'm so sick of these empty gestures. Agreed. And not even well, they're not even. It, they're not even empty gestures because empty gestures wouldn't cost you anything. I bet you it cost them a fucking boatload to put that money into the building. But if they put the money into the building and not into a community works project, you right. know, maybe it's tax deductible. I don't know. I don't know which way well, the finances I mean, are run at the NSA. It's got to just be, you know, lights on the ground shining up on the building, right? You think? Oh, yeah, that or it's strictly just digital. Because, I don't know, but uh, that's the only, like, I didn't really care about the rest of the article, uh, the, the, the other ones, but I just thought that was, it's always fun to kind of look at what uh, companies do or, or organizations do that suddenly out of the blue, you're just like, oh, now you care. Oh, now you want to, you know, when it's profitable. Uh, and from the moment June 1st hit on TikTok, there was a whole big like it's called pride out where you're like no no we're we're not going to support the companies that this month want your money for pride you know mm-hmm. right mm. uh well, n- well number four is anheuser bush or budweiser yeah i didn't uh, i didn't really they they have a i understand it, it, it was a 2019 campaign called fly the flag it was where they came out with a bunch of different tumblers that had different flag colors on them mm-hmm. Uh, the issue with that is Anheuser-Busch and Budweiser for years now, this is not a well-kept secret, have actively anti-donated to anti-LGBTQI. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Uh, uh, services, yeah. Uh, um, donated to multiple of their pop- politicians. Um, the Stonewall Inn, site of the uprising that the entire month commemorates, even ended up boycotting the beer. So... Anheuser-Busch is pretty far out of being accepted by the community. Right. They're trying to claw back those those lost dollars. That's all I got for that, man. Pretty much. Uh, the last one the last one's Raytheon. Yeah, I didn't really get that. So Raytheon makes missiles. <laughs> oh, that Raytheon. You know? I was thinking yeah. I was thinking batteries for some reason. <laughs> No, that's Rayovac. Yeah, you're probably right. That's Rayovac you're thinking of. Um, they make missiles, man. It's They make missiles. Their um, CEO, let's see here. As LGBT Pride Month concludes, our CEO, Tom Kennedy, explains why Raytheon fosters an open and inclusive workplace. So great. It doesn't matter who you want in your bedroom or who you are as a person, as long as you're willing to make a product that kills a lot of people very quickly. We want you. Spectacular. Awesome. So, <laughs> so we don't give a shit about who you are as a person, as long as you morally line up with us. And by that, we mean you have no morals. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Fuck you, Raytheon. Yeah. All righty. Nice. That was the top. That was the five list of cracked. Of, uh, yep. Shitty. Well, you know, because <laughs> I, I looked up, I said, "What's corporate greed? What's some weird pr- 
Pride news, and I was surprised to see immediately that pop up. I was like, oh, cool. Job done. Easy. I didn't have to deep dive or nothing. Yeah. Speaking of deep dive, you know, I, I always, on my interviews, I try to I try to do what I can, deep dive and dig up some stuff in, in, in my best Sean Evans Hot Ones, you know, tradition. I got called mm-hmm. the next Nardwar at an interview recently, and I was like, is- I was like, I'll take it. That is high praise. Right? Um, that is extremely high praise. Nardwar is, a, is an excellent uh, sifting machine of it, finding weird little tidbits. Yeah. and cons- I like him. I like him. Yeah, so I was like, I'll, I'll take it. It's uh, my, my crack team of Google <laughs> and Instagram and Facebook uh, posts are, 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 are coming coming up Trump's. Or oh, coming up... Uh, Good things. There we go. Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta fix that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta fix that one in post. No, no, no. We keep it all this. Uh, by the way, if you're still listening, thank you so much. Uh, you probably know this already, but this this podcast is us literally just riffing for an hour on stuff. Uh, I bring some stuff to the table, and, and Sean is a great reactor, and and uh, we uh, we have a good time. And and the whole point is to literally I edit the intro and I edit the outro, and all I do for those is fade it in and fade it out because we just thought it'd be great to have. For once, something that we put out that is just not scripted, not edited, that it is just, it's us, you know, and, if, and hopefully you like it. Some people do, and if the ones that don't, I don't know, we don't hear about it, we don't, they don't listen. Um, honestly, sir, I, I'm kind of, I'm done, I, that's all I've got. So, how's the, uh, it's going to be... It's definitely going to be a light episode this week. Yeah, and, and you know that's certainly no pers- uh, no um, on purpose slight to pride or anything like that. It's just I I ran out of stuff, so okay. I'm sorry. It's all right. Um, How's uh, teaching going? Uh, teaching is going all right. I uh, I had an event today that I had to be at work at for two hours, mandatory. Mm. Um, I filled in for one student for a half hour, but I have a bad wheel right now. Um, bad wheel? Yeah, I've got some metatarsalgia. Oh, you mean your body? Yeah, I thought you meant my your car. Foot. I was like, what? No, my car is great. Car is fantastic. You got a new one, right? Yeah. Finally got rid of the old... Yeah. Uh... The mold bucket? Yeah, I did get rid of it. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, you know what? Can we can we talk about the mold mobile? Can we, can gotta, we talk gotta, about the uh, the albatross around the neck that that thing had for a long time? Yeah, we've talked about that on the podcast before. I think so. Your, your little your little uh, your little breath buddy there. Yeah. Well, did you have to? Yeah, did, I had that. You had it taken yeah. out, right? What about? Yeah, I I got that taken out earlier this year. Um, right around the start of the year, I had that taken out. And then I had a couple other things I had to do. I had to close out the state of uh, Tennessee ga- uh, created a license number for me. And so I had to, dealing with the DMV, I had to call the state of Tennessee, find out what that license number was because there was a, f- a fee tied to it. Weird. Which I hadn't, which in all of the things, in all of the uh, uh, papers that I had surmised, in trying to get all of this, stu- this has been a seven, this at that time had been a six, seven year process of trying to get all this stuff figured out and done so that I can get it f- finished and basically, you know, move on with the next phase of my life and let the past go behind me. Um, and so I paid that off. And while I was at the DMV, I had already gotten the device out because they told me I needed XYZ to get it done. So I did XYZ. So that came out, and then less than nine months later, I needed a new car because that's just I'm leaving the whole past behind me. Apparently, nice. So what do you got now? You have a truck? No, you have a. Uh... No, I've still got a. I've still got a. Um, I've still got an SUV. It's just a newer year of what I already have. So you have an, You still have a drum vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck yeah! I need a drum vehicle. Yeah, it... I'm still doing drum shit. Um, I just had two rehearsals this past week on Tuesday and Wednesday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Nice. I, the odds are slim, but if anybody's listening to this and you're in the Kansas or Missouri area, 
uh, and you want to take some music lessons, Sean's your guy. You can, t- you can uh, do them at uh, Guitar Center, right? I can do them at Guitar Center. I also have, uh, I'm, I'm working on finishing out my studio so I can do online lessons. Awesome. And online lessons I'll be able to do through Guitar Center and through myself personally. Oh, that's cool. They're going to let you do that. That's awesome. Yes. The the deal was I couldn't teach at a facility uh, like a school of rock or a music house right. or, a, you know, whatever the whatever the company name is, you know, whatever company it is. Um, it couldn't be within five miles of a guitar center location. However, teaching out of my own facility, my own room, the, the, the property that I'm renting and I control, that's a different story. Nice. And because because I'm going to get the space set up so that I can also use it to utilize my work at Guitar Center as a company, they're they're encouraging that. Obviously, they want me to be there to do more lessons for them. Doesn't matter where I'm at, whether I'm in store or remote. That's awesome. So hopefully, um, I get the rest of this electronic stuff figured out, and I get a setup to where. I can just do everything remote, and I'm just working out of the studio full time. Cool. I'd I'd really like to not have to drive 35 minutes one way for work. Been there, done that. Yeah. When I when some days I only work two hours, you know, it's like it's it gets to be a real fucking pain when you're when you're commuting like half the time that you're working. Right. So how, how how's uh, how's the miss doing? She's doing well. She's doing well. Uh, recovering, but we've got another surgery July fifth. Mm-hmm. Uh, after that one, which will be easily worse than the last one, uh, uh, easily wor- uh, easily worse than the transphenoidal uh, deviated septum repair. Eesh. Yeah, uh, they have to go in and take out tonsils, not just overgrown tonsils that have had um, growth hormone pumped into them for the last 15 years but there's a bunch of trachea soft palate stuff in the airway that's collapsing in on itself as she tries to sleep Uh, so she's having over 80 apneatic events a night and that needs to stop because neither one of us are getting any fucking sleep (laughs) yeah and i'll tell you I normally don't get sleep. Like I'm, uh, I'm a, kind of, yeah. I'm more used to it. You know, mm-hmm. when she doesn't get sleep, she turns into a little fucking monster. And I'd like my sanity to stay in place. So she's getting the surgery, right? Um, you know, and then I could do, hopefully after this, you know, we get her a little more straightened out. I can start going to the doctor. Oh, and getting my stuff looked at you know like right there's a there's a whole other half of this relationship that hasn't been doing medical stuff this last year because it's been you know it, no time yeah no fucking time for it yep i'm very fortunate with uh, everything you know i have a teenage daughter now so there's new appointments that i've never had to have in my life and uh yeah and then of course uh, my wife and is, is it's like clockwork every year. She gets uh, certain types of, of sicknesses and things. And um, I'm very fortunate with me. If I get sick, I, I legitimately caught the flu. And I do what I got to do so that, worst case, two days later, I'm, I'm back to, I'm fine. Or I had, you know, some sort of dental surgery or something where I'm, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be out, you know. But yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, man, I think we're going to cut this one a little bit short tonight. Uh, cool. listeners, I hope you don't mind. Uh, apologies. Feel free to yell at us in the comments. No. You know what? What? I'm not going to accept that. Oh, no. What I'm going to say is we're cutting out early so you can go listen to another episode. You can there go you start go. One, of our, one of our longer... You know what? We're saving you time now so you can go listen to our longest episode ever, which would be whichever one we're going to link to in the comment description <laughs> down below. Oh, great. More work for me. Thank you. <laughs> you have to look at run times. God forbid. Hey, man. I'm... <laughs> look at the right. Ah, I'm an artist. That one's incredibly I'm an long. artist, man. There you go. Yeah. Oh, wait. By the way, if you're listening to this, thank you again. And um, I, as of July 1st of this year, am putting all of Season 1 episodes of this podcast up on the Room 6 uh, YouTube channel. So check them out. By all means, swing over there. 
drop a like, drop a share, all those things that YouTubers say. Um, yeah, I guess other than that, all that's left to say is uh, Lahayam. Happy Pride, Sean. Shalom. Happy Pride. Well, with that, with that, we're going to say bye. Ba-da-ba-ba-da-bum. <laughs>